Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Big Dev back again with another guide video today. We're going to be going over conquest maps, conquest maps, specifically Nation of Baseball Conquest, but the strategy that I show you to defeat the conquest map as fast as you possibly can will transfer over to all conquest maps in the game. So once you watch this video, you'll be set on how to defeat any conquest map that comes out this year, unless of course they release some kind of special challenge conquest map, which they might do. But all in all, in general, the strategy that I show you in this video will help you complete any conquest map in the game. As well, we're going to go over some of the rewards that you're going to receive in the Nation of Baseball uh, conquest map, including all the hidden rewards that you can receive. Um, so stay tuned for that. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So let's go over the rewards real quick. Um, if we if we do view goals, so <clears throat> the overall the rewards you're going to receive for completing the uh, Nation of Baseball conquest map, you're going to get 42 uh, standard of the show packs. And then on top of that, you're also going to get some free diamond cards like 92 Roberto Clemente, 90 Al Kaline, 90 Greg Maddox. Uh, and then you're also going to get uh, 87 Jorge Posada, 89 Alan Trammell, Dennis Eckersley, 89 overall, 88 Jim Tomey. Like, these cards are decent. They're decent cards. Um, they're not like God Squad by any means, but they're decent cards that you can kind of supplement into your lineup. Maybe if you enjoy a player, like I know I'm going to use this uh, Dennis Eckersley card for a little while. And as well as um, definitely going to use the Jorge Posada for a while until a better one gets released because he, he's got a really good swing, switch hitter, uh, really decent hitting stats. So those are some cards that I would use in my lineup. Overall, not the best cards in the game, but definitely this this is worth doing just for the packs alone. So let's I'm going to get into the strategy now of like the best and like the method that I use to complete conquest as fast as possible. So let's just get into that real quick. Okay, so... To start out, open conquest for the first time. This is what you're looking at. You're seeing all these different spaces, all these different um, open areas that you can expand to. Basically, you just select your area, you move over, you start selecting uh, other other uh, unoccupied spaces. To start out with the conquest, what I do is I try to fill as many open, we're gonna call them squares. I know they're not squares, but for all intents and purposes, they're squares, okay? Anyway, we're, <laughs> we're gonna move west as far as we can. That's what I usually do first. So I start out, we go west. I I do this until I fill up as many open spaces as I can. So we do, I just keep doing in a solid line straight west, dead west just like this, and let the CPU do its thing. We keep going dead west here. And the whole goal in doing this is to try to fill in, like I said, as many empty spaces as I can. So that way I get more reinforcements quicker without having to battle any of these other uh, teams off the bat. So so now you get to the, st the steel fans phase. Okay, so it automatically puts you into the steel fans phase once you run out of uh, places to go. All you do, hit the start button, skip to reinforce phase. Now, I call this the one square method. We'll get into what that means a little bit more later on. Click on the space, put all our reinforcements in one space over here on the west. And then um, we skip again. So this is the move fans phase. If I had any other fans in a different territory that I wanted to move to my one square, I would do it, but I don't have any right now. It's so early on the map. So I just hit the start button and then skip to attack phase. Now, once you're in the attack phase, here's what you got to do. Again, continue to fill in the open spaces west as far as you can. Try to build a good like border around some empty spaces. And um, once you do that, you'll be able to start then attacking other teams. So I'm going to fill this map in a little bit and then I'll catch up with you uh, once I do that. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. So we went as far west as we could go. We built a little wall here to the west um, of our reinforcements. And then we built a little wall over here to the east as well to kind of wall off. And so we walled off all this empty space in here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these uh, reinforcements I have here and start filling in these empty squares here. Okay, so... Here we are. We've got it filled in as much as we could have up in this top corner here. As you can see, the CPU kind of was a little aggressive on me. They kind of took some of my territories away over in this area. However, so this is the method I'm talking about, the one square method. Once you filled in all this area that you can, you're gonna get a lot more reinforcements. So the goal is to, again, take as much as you can at first, as many open squares as you can without having to battle other teams. Once you have that, one square method comes into play, okay? You'll have your reinforcements. You'll dump them all into one area, one square. One square, okay? Dump them all into one area where it says 27. That's where I dump on my reinforcements because I want to start attacking the teams around me to kind of expand my empire. So 
what you're gonna do is click here boom so as you see on the left it says simulate game right we have a high simulated win chance that's what you want to see when you're doing this and you're not doing the strongholds when you're simulating the uh, the games you want to see high simulated win chance so basically anything that's not a stronghold so like colorado rockies that's a stronghold down here diamondbacks that's a stronghold san diego that's a stronghold so those are the team's strongholds anything that's not a stronghold you should be simulated and you can simulate all those games do not play any of those games it's a waste of time so basically what i'm going to do now is start expanding that way simulate this game they have two fans or two million fans i have 24 boom i win so now i take that territory over you're going to rinse and repeat this method over and over and over again so we do it again here boom high win chance because they have one i have 23. boom <clears throat> again well the cpu do its thing again boom they have two i have 23 high win chance easy easy wins easy territory conquering all right so they just took that back i'm taking it back now with mine they have 20 i have 20 20 or that i have 20 they have two all right so boom so we're sitting here and we're the cpu is being a little aggressive right now they took some of my territory back but we're gonna we're gonna keep working at it here just bear with it you'll eventually get to a spot where the cpu can't even touch you because you have so many reinforcements so just keep doing it we still have a high win chance 15 to 2 that's easy 13 to 1 right here that's going to be easy so let me just show you real quick so say i wanted to take the rocky stronghold right i would click here Click on Rockies. Okay, so depending on how many fans I have in that territory, attacking the stronghold is going to decide my difficulty. So I would be comfortable playing this game because I, I know I can easily win on All-Star. Um, if you're newer to the game or aren't as good at the game, you might want to play on Rookie or Veteran, but All-Star is not that hard. So if you want to play on All-Star, you can. Most of the time, you're going to have enough fans to where you can play on Rookie, honestly, especially if you're using the one square method. A mistake that people make with their reinforcements is they think, oh my God, the CPU over here is gonna take over all these all this territory. So I gotta spread out my my reinforcements. I gotta put two here, three here, two here, two here, three here. No, do not do that. Do not make that mistake. Only put your reinforcements into one square and expand that way. It's because it's gonna make it a lot easier to get grab more territories in a less amount of time. So you're gonna keep moving around. High win probability, boom, 10, 0, easy. You're just going to keep moving this one square of reinforcements around until you run out. So we're at 8 now. <clears throat> we're going to keep going. Again, 8 to 2, still high. Uh, 7 to 1 is going to be high. Even if it says medium, sometimes I'll still do it. But most of the time, I like to keep a little reinforcements left over so that I can expand uh, with it. So there's 3. So sometimes if i if i this is what i do personally if i don't if i see like a wall of twos here right you see how the dodgers have two dimebacks have two i'll leave a three here uh of fans just in case because sometimes the computer gets really aggressive and all the work you accomplish with these here they'll try to attack and take so like sometimes they'll have like a high number right here like a five and you have a three <clears throat> if you leave that three there the computer is less likely to attack and try to expand into this area here so I'm just gonna leave this three here. We're gonna skip to steal fans phase. Again, you don't have to steal any fans. You don't really have to play any of those games. Then we're gonna reinforce, boom. Okay, so we're gonna go over to this square now and kind of expand up into this area as much as we can. Cause I wanna protect this stronghold here because the CPU can attack your stronghold. They did Last year they were able to attack your stronghold and that is a game you will have to play if the CPU does attack your stronghold. So gonna reinforce this stronghold here to 19. So we have 19 in that stronghold. And now we're just going to start um, attacking out this way, just just to give us a bit of a buffer on our stronghold to uh, kind of surround it a little bit. Again, the method, commit it to memory, one square method, reinforcements all into one square. I see a lot of people struggle with the conquest because they think, oh, I got to spread my fans out. No, you do not have to spread your fans out. Put it all in one square and, con and conquer it all that way. So again, this is the fastest method that you can do to complete the map. And I'm just going to give you a little base here of how, how it should look after a few turns. Again, you can do it any way you want as far as like if you want to conquer the all the territories first and then conquer each stronghold. So you can sim all these territory games and have just strongholds left. I see people do it that way all the time. But me personally, how I do it is I do the one square method and then every stronghold i come to i just play that game and conquer it piece by piece i don't conquer it all at once so i don't conquer the whole map and then do all the stronghold games i uh, i conquer it piece by piece so we're at five five to one 
boom beat that three to zero all right so we have three up here we're just gonna we're just gonna play until it runs out probably run out here soon two probably lose this one yep all right most of the time you're gonna lose a two to one you usually do all right so again the rockies made some progress up here don't worry about it don't worry about it just just keep chugging along eventually they're gonna run out of territories they're not gonna be able to reinforce as much just keep chugging along and keep grinding out like this these simulated games so that you can get a, yourself a good solid base and uh, once you have that you're gonna be able to take on the stronghold so I'm gonna continue to uh, grind out like this real quick fill in some more squares and then I'll, I'll, I'll meet you back here in a minute okay so we filled in a little bit more here now I wanted to show you we have 29 in our one square method here to take on the Rockies uh, stronghold this is just for uh, demonstration purposes we click on the Rocky stronghold here boom now that we have 28 uh, fans to attack the Rockies here we can play this game on veterans so that's an easy win so once we we play this game we'll, we would eventually have the Rockies well I'm not gonna play it on this video but we would have the Rockies conquered here once we played this game and that stronghold will be ours and then what I would do is I would reinforce up here in this square and then let me show you real quick hold on real quick let me just skip this real quick so I can just show you come on oh my goodness they're attacking like crazy all right so steel fans face skip that reinforce so just say we won this game right we took the Rockies out boom this territory now has 29 uh, fans in it I would reinforce up here 23 and boom oh goal completed we got a pack let's go then I would move my 29 fans from this stronghold here up to my designated one square boom 51 fans in this one square we can attack easily conquering every single square as we go boom attack again we're at 49 and then look we're right next to the Mariners stronghold and then what I would do with this boom boom and we can play this game on rookie so this method it works the one square method works sometimes it gets annoying because the CPU can get super aggressive like they are right here and they're taking back some areas don't pay attention to that at all just keep doing the one square method keep conquering as many territories as you can and boom you're gonna finish this map very very quickly yes it's 33 inning games but you can do it like it's it's not that hard I see a lot of people struggle again don't spread your fans out put them all in one spot and conquer that way now into the hidden rewards on top of all of these rewards that you guys get here you also get hidden rewards throughout this entire map so I'm just gonna tell you guys what those rewards are real quick the hidden rewards that aren't included on the goal list here are 21 the show packs you get three ball and packs you get one legend bat skin one classic stadium 30 jersey rewards the jersey rewards are for beating each team and then um i think that's it yeah that's it okay so the 30 jersey rewards you can keep all those jerseys for collections or you can sell them for 30k stubs up to you i'm pretty sure you get more packs when you complete the jersey collections so it's really up to you what you do you want 30k stubs or do you want more packs it probably evens out to about the same anyway in terms of value so that's something that you guys would have to decide on yourselves but so this method works for every every uh, conquest as well so if we went in over here I already finished the East conquest but if we went into the East conquest right boom I would just start filling in squares filling in more squares filling in more squares boom I would I would keep going keep going actually I would sim I'd probably sim I think this is how I did it last time I think I sim this and then I just played the Phillies on on veteran so again you just move as far into one direction as you can and then just start filling in all the empty spaces turn after turn and it, it works on every single uh every single conquest map that's how i do every single one throughout the year and they're gonna drop more and more throughout the year so be on the lookout for that but uh guys that's gonna do it for this guide video hope you enjoyed if you do have any questions and i wasn't clear enough about anything in the video just leave it in the comments i reply to every comment so if you have any questions at all just let me know and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out thanks